picked me up. And again, this is 2016 and I'm privileged to be a visitor at the SNP Party Conference, where today we've interviewed four different individuals regarding the current whereabouts of the Stone of Destiny, which we need to bring out for Christ who's on his second coming. The reason that we need this is so that we can declare the Jubilee, because our Queen Elizabeth Mary Alexandra Battenberg was not crowned on the Stone of Destiny. She's not the lawful monarch of the British Israelite nations. In God's eyes, and in the eyes of his people. And she's also broken her coronation oath because she's gave royal assent to thousands of pieces of legislation which the law forbids. We've got the chance here to stop World War Three with that's Indicamp case. We've been in party conference this year and we've been successfully raising the issue of Indicamp and making the point that Indicamp should be left alone, that students should not be, and full-time education should not be victimised by being forced to pay court fees at the court of session. Students in Scotland are currently being disenfranchised and we are not being allowed to have our say in the court of session. And there is a deafening silence for our party leadership about this. There is a groundswell of opinion that's saying that the European Union is not the way forward, that the way that Scotland will be granted their independence is through the implementation of the Jubilee as outlined in Deuteronomy and the Torah and the Old Testament. This is the only way out for Scotland because the rest is all lies. So I think if we could just maybe have a wee word from you, Richard, about the, the court case that's due up on Wednesday next week, 19th of October. So there's a... On the, the 19th and 20th of this month again, we've got to go three all the way back up to Edinburgh to the court session to fight for the right to protest. The right to protest, no way of that right to an office by any other groups. Uh, uh, opinion. We believe that Moadib has given us a cracking challenge document to take forward into the court session in Scotland to challenge the jurisdiction of the Crown for to lift the Scottish nation out of the poverty in which we find ourselves in. Constant grinding poverty on a daily basis that we have to put up with. Hi Jerry, how are you? Any work in where the stone is, please? Do you know where the stone of destiny is? This is so Jerry. You're wanted for questioning, Jerry. They're coming for you. <laughs> Aye, Jerry's a character, right. Jerry Fisher. So, would you like to encourage as many people as possible and have to have a time off to come along for these two days in Edinburgh? Well, that's right, that's right. And rise above the petty bitching that's getting on and all, all, the, all the petty personality politics. Um, well, we'll be protected. We, we'll be protected that day. and Anybody that said that we weren't getting into the case is calling God a liar. Just like anybody that said that we weren't getting into party conferences <laughs> here was calling God a liar. <laughs> Long live the fighters, bring out the stone of destiny, independence through the Jubilee, and not the EU. Thank you. Here we go. Long live, Long live the fighters. Long, Long live the king. Long live the fighters. Long live the king. Forward for Scotland. Your time has come. A storm is coming. Our storm. And when it arrives, it will shake the universe. Emperor! We come for you! We come for you!
name of God, most gracious, most merciful, an open letter, an amicus curiae brief, to all the people who are acting as judges in Scotland. The attached affidavit is presented to the court or courts as an amicus curiae brief in the case P1531-15 and all other cases brought before every court in Scotland. I most strongly recommend that it be taken extremely seriously. Date 26th of June 2016, signed Christ, King of Scotland. Jartruth.net slash B-R-I-T-C-A Short for the British Coat of Arms. Affidavit of Truth from the King of Scotland Statement of Facts My name is Crown Prince Michael also known as Archangel Michael and the Christ Messiah and I am older than this world John 17 verse 5 But the human body that I am inhabiting on this my second coming incarnated into a human inside a new body from the tribe of Joseph Ephraim exactly as prophesied in the Holy Bible is 68 years of age Genesis 49 verse 22 Joseph is a fruitful bough even a fruitful bough by a well whose branches run over the wall Genesis 49:23. the archers have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him. Genesis 49 verse 24 But his bow abode in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From there is the shepherd, the cornerstone of Israel. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 4, Daniel 2 verses 34 to 35 and 45 Not from Judah, like the previous incarnation. I am the lawful owner of this entire world and I own it and everything pertaining to it, including all the human bodies that I created and the beings, souls locked within them who are my condemned prisoners on this prison planet. All of which is revealed in my book The Way Home or Face the Fire which is the survival plan for all human plus beings. Available at thewayhomeorfacethefire.net Please read this book for complete clarification. It's the little book of Revelation 10. The title is self-explanatory. It is the white stone written of in Revelation 2 verse 17. The following quotes from the Holy Bible and Holy Quran are proof of the fact that I own everything. 1. Exodus 9 verse 29 And Moses said unto him, As soon as I am gone out of the city, I will spread abroad my hands unto the I am, and the thunder shall cease, neither shall there be any more hail, that thou mayest know how that the earth is the I am's. 2. Exodus 19 verse 5 Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. 3. Deuteronomy 10 verse 14 Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is the I am's thy God, the earth also and all that therein is. 4. Joshua 3 verse 11 Behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth passeth over before you into Jordan. 5. Psalm 24 verse 1, a psalm of David the earth is the I am's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. 6. Psalm 47 verse 2 For the I am most high is terrible, 
He is a great king over all the earth. 7. Psalm 50 verse 12 If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine and the fullness thereof. 8. Psalm 89 verse 11 The heavens are thine, the earth also is thine. As for the world and the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. 9. Haggai 2 verse 8 The silver is mine and the gold is mine, saith the I am, Lord of hosts. 10. Zechariah 14 verse 9 And the I am shall be king over all the earth. In that day there shall be one I am, and his name one, not a trinity. 11. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 26 For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And 1 Corinthians 10 verse 28 But if any man say unto you, This is offered in sacrifice unto idols, eat not for his sake that showed it, and for conscience' sake, for the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. 12. Surah 43 verse 61 Our oh, Ayat 61 And Christ the Mahdi shall be a sign for the coming of the hour of judgment. Therefore have no doubt about the hour, but follow ye me. This is the straight way. 13. Surah 16 Ayat 52 To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and on the earth, and to him is duty due always. Then will ye fear other than the I am? 14. Surah 20, Ayat 6 To him belongs what is in the heavens and on earth, and all between them and all beneath the soil. 15. Surah 23, verse 88, or Ayat 88 Say, who is it in whose hands is the governance of all things? Who protects all, but is not protected by any? Say, if you know. And Surah 23, Ayat 89. They will say, it belongs to I am. Say, then how are you deluded? 16, Surah 42, Ayat 4, verse 4. To him belongs all that is in the heavens and on the earth, and he is most high, most great. 17. Surah 42, Ayat, or verse 53. The way of the I am, to whom belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on earth, behold how all affairs tend towards I am. The scripture is from the King of Kings Bible, available at jartruth.net forward slash k of k hyphen free forward slash Bible. I have given IndyCamp campers my permission to occupy my land and buildings where they are encamped and to film wherever they like until such time as my law has been re-established and implemented in my Kingdom of Scotland. I have not given permission for the formation of any political party because they are prohibited in the law, nor have I given permission for them to use my property. Deuteronomy 5 verse 32 Ye shall observe to do therefore as the I am your God hath commanded you. Ye shall not turn aside to the right hand, Conservatives, or to the left, Labour, SNP, Communist, etc. Deuteronomy 5 verse 33 Ye shall walk in all the ways which the I am your God hath commanded you, 